Hi everyone, my name is Shane. I am the host of Envelope Budgeting and I have a video for you today on how to set up your envelope budgeting method uh, using a spreadsheet. So let's begin. So what you want to do at the beginning is create your categories, groceries, gasoline, clothing, miscellaneous uh, nails salon barber and because I've done these categories I do know what to put in them approximately just remembering all the categories okay blow money something uh, vacation venture uh, wedding big one savings boom okay so there's three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve categories and if you only want to use three categories you can do that as well it's up to you. But I use 12. Again, you can use 3 if you want. Some people have commented, why do you keep talking about 12? 12 is a nice number. It works for me. It covers 80 to 90 percent of every category that you will encounter in your life. So here we go. So groceries. Start off with uh, 600. Gasoline, 100 bucks. I know I spend $50 every week. Clothing, uh, let's do 150 every pay every paycheck. So that's every two weeks. This is what you do. Vehicle, home furniture, 50 nail salon. So for me, it cost me about 20 bucks for a haircut and my wife a little bit more. So every paycheck, 35 dollars for that. No money, 100 bucks. So 50 bucks a week. My wife, 100 bucks. Vacation, uh, not sure yet, but let's just put 200. Venture, $50. Uh, wedding, 200. Boom. And then savings, 200. Boom. 1835. So I can put $65 <coughs> into this because my goal is to get to nine, 1900. So let's find a place for $65. So let's bump up uh, savings. There we go. Two sixty-five. So I do want to save up for a truck as well. So there you have it. You can do this every single pay period. Uh, once you have this set up, it's nice because then you can tweak. You look at your bank account and then you figure out what all your expenses. So. Uh, let's just call those uh, online bills. So you can actually, let's just take this here. Copy this, go here, boom. Format this a little bit, like so. And then now you can go, let's make that bold here, boom. Okay, so now maybe it's uh, your rent for example and then what else do we have utilities utilities then we have uh, good life fitness then we have netflix and we have cell phones and we have I don't really have a whole bunch of other stuff. Oh, I have 13 categories. I'm just trying to think of them offhand. Batteries running low. 
Anyway, so you do that for each one of your categories. Boom, 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 and boom. Oh yeah, okay. Tides, taxes, compassion. So I, I pay uh, not that much, but I think it's like 30 or $40 a month to Compassion Canada, sponsoring a kid that we have. And every once in a while I get a letter from him, probably every four months. The kid's like five, so his letters are very, very short, mostly pictures. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I would suggest. Uh, do that first, so then you can figure out, say your rent is 2300 utilities are 400 um, good life is 100 bucks. my wife and myself, Netflix is 10 bucks. Uh, cell phones, 150, I believe. Might be a little bit more. Ties, 10% of that, so 230 dollars. Oops, sorry, of what I get. So let's say 200 dollars. Uh, taxes, 200 dollars. Uh, compassion is 40. There you go. So this gives you an idea of what your budget is for that pay period for June 1st. So. Do this first, figure out all your expenses, and whatever is left over goes into here. And then you can go from there. Boom. So that's what I do. My wife and I sits down. She usually takes care of the online stuff because it's all automated and it's all through her phone. So what we do is we sit down and she lets me know when the bills are paid. So, for example, on the first, there's a certain amount of bills that have to get paid. And then on the 15 is the rest of them. So then after that we can gauge. Usually uh, I have $1,900 on the first pay period. And then $1,800 on the next one. Or vice versa. So let's, uh, let me just show you. Here's, here's another thing you can do. So I have this all set up for the year. Just to get an idea so you can see all the categories that I have venture I put forty dollars so clothing one twenty five gasoline hundred vehicle blow money everything is the same savings two hundred weddings two hundred nail salon thirty five so and then you spread out so yeah in June fifteenth this is what I'll use July first nineteen hundred eighteen nineteen eighteen all the way across so I did this all the way to the end of the year so here is what you actually will be spending slash saving. So groceries, we will have spent $6,600 by the end of the year. Well, actually, it's more than that because I've been doing this since January. So this is only keeping track starting June 1st. Um, $1,200 on gasoline, $1,500 on clothing, $2,400 on eating out. We eat out an awful lot. See, this is why you do this, so you can actually figure out, you know what, maybe we don't need to spend 200 bucks every other week on eating out. Vehicle maintenance. So you basically you have $600 for the year, oil changes, brakes, <coughs> changing your tires, balancing your tires, uh, buying tools, whatever it is. Furniture. Maybe you need a new coffee table, a new couch, a new chair, a new TV, whatever it is. There, you have that already taken care of. Blow money, $1,200 a year. This is what you spent on yourself. So if you save that money, maybe you want a brand new TV or something that you want. Uh, maybe it's a motorbike or something. Whatever. You can start fudging these numbers to make it work for you. <coughs> oh, she's dying. <laughs> I should plug this in. <coughs> so I gotta wrap this video up real quick here okay so vacation twelve hundred dollars so this is what we'll have for a vacation by the end of the year uh, savings twenty four hundred dollars in the bank uh, we already have a savings slash emergency fund so that'll get top that up it'll be plus twenty four hundred and then venture forty eight hundred dollars or four hundred eighty dollars which is going to my new online business so which means I'm paying for my domain name every single month, uh, paying for my uh, hosting account, uh, any advertising, all that kind of stuff. 
wedding. $2,400 for the wedding. We budget $200 so that way my daughter can use some of this cash to help out with her wedding. The rest she has to come up with for herself for this year. Next year we'll reevaluate depending on the time that she wants to get married. And then lastly, of course, is what was that category? Nails and salons. So that's that basically stays the same. There you have it. Hope that's helpful. My battery's running low. I have to go. Take care.